Q here with another video for you guys. Today's title of this video is called By the Numbers, A Tale of Two Ostrocks. You see, this is my second time making this video because the first one was incomplete. I didn't put all the information in there correctly, so this is the second time I'm going to make this video. Now, in the title, I'm going to put the person's name on here because I actually do not know how to say his name. But I can guarantee everybody, this person that I'm talking about is a very important person. That's right, this person is a very important person. You see, I came across this person's prophecies out of Russia by a person named Sylvie from New Earth. She posted the very first prophecy by Slava on May 28, 2018, seven days after my 30th birthday. And when I watched the video, I was elated by a lot of the information in which he was presenting. I was fascinated with his life. So when I saw that video, I actually had a dream about Slava. And in that dream, I fell to my knees and I said, oh, I knew it was you. And I saw him in a different form and likeness than what you guys saw him in. That was my introduction to who Slava was, you see. When the pandemic first started in 2020, I wanted to go back and listen to his prophecies again because his prophecies were so on point. But Sylvie had decided that she was having problems with YouTube and the algorithms and her own personal problems that she was having. She decided to remove a lot of her content off of YouTube. She removed a lot of the content and one of the contents that she removed was those prophecies. And I was very upset, so I had to go before the Lord Yeshua and pray because those prophecies were very important. Those prophecies from Slava were very important. And she was the key in order for us to understand those things. When I went before the Lord Yeshua, I asked if he can do something about it. Somehow, magically, out of all her videos that she had made private, I still had access to those videos. That video right there. And I think there were like two other ones I had access to as well that were also very important, talking about Atlantis and talking about a prophecy from Thoth. There was those three videos that I still have access to and I didn't have access to anything else. The Lord Yeshua allowed me to be able to have those prophecies and I would go back over time and time again about what he was saying because his prophecies are real. They are very accurate. They are very accurate. More recently, Sylvie from New Earth, she posted two videos by someone named Ostrak Pavel, who is out of Belarus. He was out of Belarus. I saw this a couple of days ago, and the numbers that came from these two videos that she posted by Ostrak Pavel from Belarus were very interesting. It said part 22. And when I saw that number, I said, oh my God, this is an important message. And as I started to listen, there were some very interesting numbers that popped up. So here it is. This is by the numbers. So you guys will know the truth for yourself. These prophecies by Slava were posted on 28 May 2018, which was seven days after my birthday, which is on 21 May. Slava was born on 22 March of 1982. Notice the number 22 there. Notice the month 3, March. The latest videos that Sylvie of New Earth posted, I took two screenshots, and you guys seen the screenshots here for yourselves, of the video. As I was watching the video, it was 11.11 11 p.m., 23.11 p.m. at night when I watched these videos, and you guys saw that it had 2,000 views. So we'll go again, 2,000 views. Part 22, 22 March, 2,000 views. Screenshot taken at 11, 11, 23, 11. I took two screenshots of this to let you guys see. I have two screenshots. And the two screenshots, the meta file numbers for it are 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So this is all to let you guys know that the message is a real message. It's a real message. I want you guys to go through and listen to the prophecies for yourselves because you need to know it for yourself. But I'm only going to highlight one part out of it 
that's very important. And he talked about microchips. That's right. He talked about microchips before a time that microchips existed. For a boy his age, he talked about microchips which didn't make sense. But he was telling the people about what was coming. You see, now we have a problem where microchips are being planted everywhere. That's right, microchips are being planted everywhere. Microchips are now found in your clothes, it's found in your food, it's found in your water. These nano bits, nanotechnology is being found everywhere and is beginning to infiltrate mankind and is beginning to turn you man into cyborg. That's right, it's beginning to turn you man into cyborg. So all you guys who go around and you go do your shopping at the big stores and you get your food from there, you guys don't see the microchips that are planted in everything that's beginning to infect all of your food supply to include all of your liquids as well. It's affecting all of your liquids as well. And when I heard this, I said, oh, well, this is just like mankind when they polluted the world with their plastics. That's right. Like when you polluted the world with your plastic, you see humanity, we have gone around the world and we have thrown your plastic everywhere. You have thrown your plastic everywhere. And the plastic that you guys have thrown around is now has been found in all the marine life and animal life and plant life everything that plastic garbage that you guys have thrown around you've thrown and dumped in the oceans and that washes up on the shores of every nation in the world that they constantly got to keep cleaning the plastic and that we have plastic in our oceans that is the size of the united states of america that's right we have plastic that is the size of the united states of america that's just sitting out there in the oceans and it has infected all of the life forms here on the earth. So now that your new master is implementing his agenda and put microchips in all of y'all, and you don't even know it, you didn't even know what your plastic was doing. So mankind, now that the truth is revealed into you about what's really going on behind the scenes in the shadows, behind the scenes, because that's the series of what I'm doing behind the scenes. Now you yourselves, because of how you have treated the entire world, the other life forms and species on this planet, you yourselves get the same treatment. You yourselves get the same treatment.